a young monk was troubled by his impure thoughts. He felt ashamed and guilty for having such desires, and he could not focus on his meditation. He decided to seek the advice of his master, who was renowned for his wisdom and compassion. He approached the master and bowed respectfully. Master, I have a problem that I need your help with. I am constantly plagued by dirty thoughts and I don't know how to get rid of them. How can I purify my mind and attain enlightenment? The master smiled and said, My son, there is nothing wrong with having dirty thoughts. They are natural and human, and they do not make you a bad person. The problem is not the thoughts themselves, but how you react to them. If you try to suppress them, they will only become stronger and more persistent. If you indulge in them, they will distract you from your true purpose and lead you to suffering. The key is to observe them without attachment or aversion, and let them go without clinging or rejecting. This is the way of Zen. The young monk was confused. But Master, how can I observe them without attachment or aversion? They are so powerful and tempting, and they fill me with lust and greed. How can I let them go without clinging or rejecting? They are so sticky and stubborn, and they cling to me like glue. How can I practice Zen in this way? The master said, Let me give you an analogy. Imagine that you are walking along a river and you see a beautiful flower floating on the water. You may admire its beauty and fragrance, but you do not try to grab it or keep it. You know that it is impermanent and will soon wither and fade. You may also see a piece of garbage floating on the water. You may dislike its ugliness and smell, but you do not try to push it away or throw it. You know that it is also impermanent and will soon be washed away. You simply watch the flower and the garbage as they flow by, without attachment or aversion. You do not let them disturb your peace of mind. You are aware of them, but you are not affected by them. This is how you should treat your dirty thoughts. They are like flowers and garbage on the river of your mind. You do not need to get rid of them or keep them. You just need to watch them as they come and go, without attachment or aversion. You do not let them disturb your peace of mind. You are aware of them, but you are not affected by them. This is how you practice Zen. The young monk was enlightened. He thanked the master and bowed again. He realized that his dirty thoughts were not his enemies, but his teachers. He learned to observe them with equanimity and detachment, and to let them go with ease and grace. He found that the more he practiced this way, the less power they had over him, and the more peace he felt in his heart. He was no longer troubled by his impure thoughts, but he was also not attached to his pure thoughts. He transcended both purity and impurity, and attained the state of no mind. He became a true Zen monk,